mais. Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today you will see my newest purchase on the channel, which is this E-Class 220D. It's a 2010 and it just arrived to me. So uh, we're gonna do a uh, first uh, impression and walk around together. So this is a bit of a different video from what I normally do. But I thought it would be nice to share it with you guys because I got this car for only £1,000 and I'll tell you why. So I got this car in a part exchange deal. Um, a customer reached out to me interested in one of my cars and uh, they gave me the details for this car. And uh, when they told me about something of this car, I gave them a very low offer and I was very surprised that they accepted it straight away, which was only £1,000. And um, I took the deal, to be honest. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like was uh, me not being able to check out the car before doing the deal because the customer requested the um, car to be delivered to them. So that was uh, a little bit of a hiccup. I managed to do a um, delivery arrangement for them. So the new car got delivered to them and this was just uh, dropped here for me. Um, early morning i think around four o'clock in the morning so i just woke up and came outside and saw it at first glance um let's do a walk around the car is a bit dirty so you i won't be able to see everything clearly on the paint job but from what i'm seeing yeah there's a bit of scuff here um the wheel looks knackered to be honest there's got some marks here to be fair, the disc seems to be very new, uh, which means the pads also new as well. I um, don't know if you can see. Yeah, the tire is good as well. I don't see any major damage straight away on the car, apart from this bumper sticking out a little bit. So, and here as well. Could mean that it's got a bump from the rear, but. The rest of the bumper itself looks very good. So I've covered the uh, number plate uh, for my own reasons because I'm a trader. I buy and sell these cars and shift them on very quick. So just, you know, want to hide the license plate for my own reasons. But yeah, car seems to be very good, to be honest. Um, this front wheel as well is it's got marks around the wheel but for me I'm very surprised um, at the condition of this car because they told me it was average condition but for me for 2010 with no panel damages I think it's a really good deal I can see some damage on the headlight lens but that's nothing major, nothing serious. So I will tell you why I got this car for only £1,000 in a second. But just want to check out everything before we go inside and start and then drive it. Um, front bumper looks okay as well. Um, I love this Mercedes emblem sticking out on the bonnet. I think they should be doing that to the newer models as well. I think they stopped it from... 2015 onwards but that is a really nice touch it's got the <coughs> Zenon headlights I don't know if they all come with Zenon headlights um, side indicators it's got roof rails which is nice oh we do have the parasol shelf cover which is nice as well reverse camera no not that I see. In all fairness, I'm very surprised at the condition of this car. I think I really got a good deal buying a car side and sin and just taking the risk. I mean, it's not a risk for £1,000 to get a Mercedes like this, but I'll tell you why, why I got it for £1,000. Let's check out the interior actually. So it does have one key, which is the shame, but nevertheless, it's got a key. Um, is that keyless entry? 
I'm not sure. So, really clean. Look at that. I think they've given it a clean before they send it to me. Uh, it's got these rubber mat. Oh, it's a Mercedes badge here. Could this be from factory? I doubt that they wouldn't stay like this if it was from factory. All the buttons seem good. No wear on the shoulder rest here. Sorry, armrest. What am I talking about? No way. It's got electric tailgate. You're kidding me. <laughs> this is a nice touch. Um, see what we have. This looks very clean. I'm sure they had it validated before sending it out. Or, you know, when they thought about selling it and then they had given it a good clean. I see a bit of dog hair, so they may have had dogs. Ooh, they forgot to do this part. Where's the spare tire? Yeah. Might have to get a spare tire for this one. So you can um, lower the middle rows from this button here, which is a nice touch, but that's what I like the most. Closing the tailgate. Nice. All right, guys, let's get inside it. Actually, let's check out here. I did put my backpack here, but I made sure not to look properly. Um, yeah, these seats look brand new, to be honest. And even the headline is very clean. I'm chuffed at this. Okay. Diesel. So we've got automatic headlights. No money left over for me. Um, automatic gearbox. This is the Advantage spec, which comes with nice heated seats, leather, and... Um, that's all I know, to be honest. So let's start it. What radio station is this? LBC. Okay. So let's give it a start. So we have no fuel here. And any other messages? Let's clear this. No, you can see guys, temperature literally on zero. I really don't like this look of the steering wheel. Usually the three spoke is my favorite, but this is not the AMG line. So it comes with the four spoke, but look at the buttons. Okay, let me tell you why I got this car because what I'll be talking about will make no sense. Um, so I got this car for only £1,000, and that was the reason why. 146,315 miles. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, this car has been proper used. But from what I see, you know, condition-wise, I haven't driven it yet. The buttons, the seats, even the wear on the gear knob. Well, there is a bit here, but, you know... It's, it's nothing that shouts in your face. I think this car is in a really good shape. And all it needs, well, fingers crossed, after driving it, there is nothing wrong. But the car got driven to me. So I'm assuming that there is nothing wrong with it. Um, I think we got a really good deal here, to be honest. We've got electric parking brake here as well. That's nice. Um cup holders empty glove box a little bit dirty but that's fine yeah they did manage to clean most of it and it's got parking sensors here right there so i think it could go oh, let's let's switch that on it's a bit cold today uh so we've got nav 
it, it works. And one other thing I wanted to try, just see if it's got reverse camera. Okay, so we have the parking sensors. You can switch them off here, but no reverse camera. It goes into gears nicely. All right, guys, I think it's time for a drive. Actually, before we do any of that, I completely forgot. Oh. Oh, I think I broke this. How am I supposed to open it now? Yeah. Is the one open? No. All right, bear with me one second, guys. All right, guys, so uh, I think I broke the latch or it was broken before it got delivered to me, um, which means I'm unable to check the um, oil level or the coolant level. And the car has been on for about 10, 15 minutes. Temp gauge is slowly rising, but I don't want to be driving it without having that stay where it should stay. So I'll wait until the temperature is normal and I don't see any oil lights or anything. But I have no choice now because if I try any harder with this, I could actually snap the cable so i'll leave it like this until i get to work and then i'll have my mechanic to check it out all right guys so uh, stayed a bit more uh cooling level is still between 40 and 80. it doesn't look like it's gonna go high because we are stationary which means um the level in the cooling could be fine hoping but now let's go for a drive and see how it does the suspension feels good over these bumps so i don't hear any funny noises coming from either the front or the back there's a very low whining noise coming from the uh, rear i don't know uh, whether it's the speakers or not the steering wheel feels light and nice and it's very on center so it's not going to need tracking or alignment and the transmission ships really nicely as well even though i haven't done any speed yet but you could tell that the transmission's very good as well all right so we've got a good stretch of the road here let's see pulls very nice and there's no smoke just at 80 right now so it's slowly rising i'll keep an eye on this So yeah, guys, um, I think I'm going to end the video here and uh, I'll update you at the end of this video, whether the car is sold or not. Um, I would want to give it a good service, which is going to be anywhere between 150 to 200 pounds and uh, also give it a good clean and um, sort out the um, bonnet latch and this noise, I think, coming from that speaker over there. I don't know if the camera picks it up. But uh, after all of this, I'll take some nice pictures and put it up for sale. If it sells before I put out this video, then I'll update you. If not, then I'll leave in the comments below later on. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more of this often. Um, cause I quite enjoy it, to be honest. And one thing I forgot to mention, the retail value for this car is around, uh, well, it's just under £5,000. With the sort of work that I'm going to do to this car, it's basically nothing. So I am in um, in a position to make a really good, nice profit of this car. But I'll let you guys know and update you as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.